Président, Président, please be seated. Président, veuillez vous asseoir. Today we proceed with the hearing and the proceedings in case 02-02. And today we'll conclude the testimony of witness to TCW 1000 who will be questioned by the two defense teams. We also have a reserve witness today, that is to TCW 848. And before we uh, proceed to hear the testimony of today's witness and for the following witnesses, Judge Jan Sakon, who is a Le national Jan judge, Sokon, is absent est for est absent personal matters. And after the bench deliberated Après this morning, ce matin, we decide to appoint the reserve judge Tumani in Jan Sakon's place for today's proceedings. Until such time, Judge Yasakon is able to return to the bench. This decision is based on Rule 79.4 of the ECCC Internal Rules. Ms. G. C. Wong, please report to the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Good morning, Mr. President. For today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present, except Ms. Antakushe, the International Counsel for Kiel Sampon, and Mr. Kevin Saunders, the Standby Counsel for Kiel Sampon's Defense, are absent for personal reasons. Mr. Nuji is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the the witness who is to conclude his testimony today, that is to TCW 1000, has Mr. Myung Sawan as his duty counsel. He is ready to be called by the bench. We also have a reserve witness today, namely to TCW 848. The witness confirms to his ability he has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused, that is, Nun Chi and Kiyo Samporn, or to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. The witness drew an oath before the Iron Club statute this morning. Thank you. President, thank you, Ms. G. S. Huang. The Chamber now decides on the request by Nun Chie. The Chamber has received a waiver from Nun Chie dated 5 January 2016, which states that due to his health, headache, back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long, and in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to waive his rights to participate in and be present at 5 January 2016 hearing. He affirms that his counsel has advised him about the consequences of this waiver, that it cannot in any account be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented to or admitted by this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report of Nun Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC, dated 5 January 2016, which notes that 
Nunchi has severe back pain when he sits for long, and recommends that the chamber grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information, and pursuant to Rule 815 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nunchi his request to follow today's proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs via audiovisual means. The chamber instructs the AV unit personnel to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunchi can follow. This applies to the whole day. And before I invite the witness and his counsel into the courtroom, the chamber uh, would like to inform the parties that in relation to the request by Nunchi's defense and uh, the co-prosecutors for statements and witnesses pursuant to Rule 87.3 and 87.4 for the Vietnamese uh, target group. That is in relation to those documents, the uh, floor will be given to the parties tomorrow, not today. And second, the chamber will now issue its oral ruling on Kiel's and defense request to admit four documents for questioning witness to TCW 1000. The chamber is seized of a Kielsen Post defense request dated 23rd December 2015 to admit four written records of interview prior to the defense questioning of to TCW 1000. That is in relation to document E319-23.2. No responses were received by the deadline of 31st December 2015 fixed by the Chamber. The Chamber finds that the request is timely as the written records of interview were not available prior to the start of the case 002-02 trial. They were taken by the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges and therefore met the prima facie standards of reliability and authenticity. Based on the defense submissions, the Chamber further considers the written records of interview relevant to case 002-02 and may be conducive to ascertaining the truth. The Chamber therefore admits all four requested documents. Court officer, please, uh, sir, witness to TCW 1000 and his counsel Moon Sovan into the courtroom.
Um, I have a few questions for you this morning. Um, I have quite some follow-up questions in relation to your earlier testimony. And I would like to start with you um, in 1972 or 1973 uh, when you said you joined the revolution. Uh, was it 1973? Is my understanding correct? I joined the uh, revolution on the 2nd May 1972 in the Campot area. I apologize, it was 72. C can you describe for me um, what you did uh, in the years leading up to 17 April 75? What was your role um, in Kampot during uh, those years? What did you do exactly? Thank you for asking me the question, and I will tell you the truth. I have nothing to hide in relation to my duties at the time. I was at that time a messenger in a cartoon. And who was your commanding officer in the platoon? Correction, it in fact in my battalion, to my uh, military commander was Damon, and I was his personal messenger. Um, and how long did you stay his personal messenger? Until when? I uh, began working as his personal messenger between 1972 to 1973. Subsequently, Anka sent me to the zone. Um, what did you mean with that? Sent you to the zone? Um, you were in Kampot, so were you not already in a zone? In 1972, I worked in Compote area, and in 1973, my battalion was sent by Ankar to an area called Dokonjo, and subsequently uh, we advanced to Phnom Penh. Um, you said you were a messenger until 73. Um, what did you do after 73?
Um, what were your functions within the artillery unit? What did you do? Thank you for asking me the question. And to tell you the truth, I did not do anything while I was in the artillery unit. I was simply a combatant. What, were you involved in armed um, conflict? Were you involved in battles with the Lono forces while uh, being a member of the artillery unit? Because there was a war period and we fought against the Lunol soldiers. Um, how big was your unit? How many men were in your artillery unit? In the uh, battalion, there was one the company, and there were other armed units with the DK-75 or DK-80 and 60 millimeters. And I was with the artillery unit with the 81 millimeters cannon. Uh, but within the unit, were you a uh, mere combatant or were you also commanding people below you? Étiez-vous responsable de commander des subalternes? I received orders from the upper superiors, superiors, and I was merely a combatant receiving orders in a chain of command from the unit chief up to the chief of the company. And were you in this artillery unit until uh, 17 April 75 when Phnom Penh was liberated? But I could not know no complacon of Plum Tomer or hold us numbered at the artillery unit until nineteen seventy five when Plum Pen was liberated. I was then assigned to go to work in Kampung Sound. And in those years that you were a member of the artillery unit until the liberation, you yourself were never giving any orders to people below you. You only received orders. Is that correct? Subalterne. Vous n'avez fait que recevoir des ordres. Est-ce bien exact? Bad Akuna. Yes, thank you. Oui, merci. And is my understanding correct? Uh, that after 17 April 75, you were always in the position of a combatant, uh, and there were never any combatants below you in rank. Is that correct? Yes, thank you. Um, you just mentioned um, a particular form of artillery that was used by you and your fellow combatants. Um, have you ever handled um, a machine gun with 12.7 millimeter guns or bullets or ammunition rather? 
12.7. Does that sound familiar? But yes, of course, I heard uh, the 12.7 uh, oui, cannon. However, usually this uh, machine gun was clipped on a uh, ship and not used on land. For the infantry, they use various types of uh, machine guns. That is the 17 or the 18 millimeters guns. Des armes de and the 12.7 millimeter was used only on vessel or ship. Did you yourself ever use 12.7 uh, millimeter machine guns? Were you, you yourself a specialist in using those machine guns or were those other people in the artillery units that were using those? de mitraillette ou est-ce qu'il y avait d'autres personnes dans l'artillerie qui étaient spécialistes de ce type d'armes Unit. Réponse. Lorsque j'étais rattaché à l'unité engage in firing the 17 or the 18 millimeter machine guns. They were Chinese made. And as part of the artillery unit, we were constantly on mobile. I will get back to the 12.7 millimeters later, but my question is were you yourself ever using the 12.7 machine gun? I used to fire the 12.7 millimeter machine gun. Um, fine, I will come back to that later, uh, Mr. Witness. Um, now, uh, 17 April 75, when Phnom Penh fell, um, were you stationed in the southwest zone at the time in Kampot? dans la zone sud-ouest à Campote. The machine guns have been guarded for various deployments by the Navy. But my question was, where, where were you on 17 April 75 and in the weeks after 17 April 75? Where were you? In 1975, I was assigned to a work in Kampung Saum. When exactly did you arrive in Kampung Saum? I cannot recall the date. Réponse. However, I was in Kampong Sam about three days after the liberation. And were you still a member of that same artillery unit?
When I was assigned to uh, work in Kampong Sam, I was actually uh, detached from the artillery unit and I was integrated into an infantry unit in Kampong Sam. Within the next, um, let's say, four weeks, after 17 April 75, after your arrival in Kampong Sam, did you go to um, one of the islands uh, belonging to Cambodia at the time? In 1975, Anka sent me to station in an island called Kortan Island. When exactly did you go to Kortan Island? À quel moment exactement êtes-vous allé sur cette île de Kortan? I cannot recall it. It happened a long time ago. I cannot recall the date when I arrived at Kortan. De mon arrivée à Kortan. Was it within a few weeks after 17 April 1975? Is that correct? Answer, yes, that oui. is correct. C'est ça. Now, can you remember Question. something uh, that happened de on Koh Tang Island on or around the 7th of May 1975? Autour du 7 mai 1975. Autour du 7 mai ou le 7 mai 1975? Answer. Réponse. There was an incident in 1975. Un incident en 1975. At the time, a Maya gaze was seized, and it was pulled uh, to uh, Tang Island. There Il was an intensive uh, fighting in 1975. What exactly happened with this Question. ship, que the Maya Quest? Can you explain to us what you remember, what happened with this ship, to whom belonged this ship, what happened after the ship was arrested? Was it the same ship that you were in at the time? What happened after the ship was arrested? Can you tell us a little more? 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 I cannot recall Je ne me exactly pas exactement of the date when the Mayagaze was captured. De la what I knew du Mayagaze, ce que is that uh, the Mayagaze belonged to America, and there were American crews on the Mayagaze. I went up uh, onto the Mayagaze, and I noticed there were American, American crew. Il y avait un équipage américain. So when you were stationed at Kotang Island, Island um, the Mayagaze ship was le stopped, and, a, a été and, and arrêté the people on board were arrested? Les gens à bord ont été Is that arrêtés. correct? C'est bien cela? But, but réponse. Answer, that is true. C'est cela, c'est vrai. After the capture Après of la the Mayagaze, du Mayagaze, people or crew members on the Mayagaze qui se were à bord removed and sent to Kampong Sam. Ont été envoyés à Kampong Sam. There was an intensive fighting on the island at that time. Lutte intense sur cette île à l'époque. Fighting between which Question. forces? Des combats entre quelles forces? Answer. Réponse. The Intensive fighting happened between American soldiers and our soldiers. There was a fighting 
between the infantry and uh, the naval soldiers. Et, uh, la, After the intensive marine. fighting, American uh, people uh, Américains got on to the airplane and left the place. And uh, there was also, you know, aerial fighting Il y avait également as well des at that time. Également à cette époque. Do you remember which Question. group? Vous vous souvenez? Um, which part of the um, revolutionary forces de quel groupe uh, captured the ship? Ont which group was it that captured the Mayaguez? Quels sont les troupes qui ont capturé le Mayaguez? Answer. Réponse. I am telling the truth uh, to Je the chamber la à la chambre, that in 1975, en 1975 the infantry uh, had no ships and boats. De navires, ni de bateaux. And Et there was an order of uh, uh, to send a boat and ship ah non, to capture the Mayagay uh, at that time. Ce, uh, à cette but do you remember Question. which group it was that Vous captured the Mayagay's? Um, boatsmen. Who was it that arrested those qui people? A arrêté ces personnes? Answer. I did not know of which group Je pas did capture the Mayagay. The order came from the division to capture the Mayagay. People on the island noticed the presence of the Mayagay and at that time we People on the island reported Nous, to the superior or upper echelon, uh, and the order came back to us to go and capture the Mayagay. The boats or ships les navires, les that uh, we used uh, uh, were seized uh, during the time that uh, we won uh, we won the fighting with the American soldier last time. Contre les and in fact, Américains. there was an order from the division, the division order came to us, donné, and we went to capture the ship of Mayagay. Um, you, you speak about we, Question. but was Alors it another group nous, that actually un autre group captured the American ship? Was it some ce navire group called the PCF group? S'agissait-il d'un groupe qui s'appelle le groupe PCF? Réponse. Answer. No. Non. PCF uh, was not PCF used at that time since uh, PCF était utilisé à cette époque puisque was a slow boat. Un navire lent. Actually, we uh, used the mine sweeper uh, to uh, arrest uh, the arraisonner. Mayagay, since uh, mine sweeper was over uh, fast enough, and at that time there were two mine sweepers. Deux chasseurs de mines. Um, in your statement to um, dans votre the investigators of co investigating judge E3 slash 90092, the uh, English ERN. 009 009 7859 Réponse. Answer. I may have forgotten about uh, that point when I was interviewed at uh, that time. 
Lorsque j'ai été interrogé à cette époque, je ne voulais pas changer ma déclaration. Il y avait six navires PCF à l'époque, mais les navires PCF étaient trop lents pour capturer le navire Actually, we did use, uh, Nous avons utilisé le uh, navire pour uh, capturer le navire PCF, mais puisque les PCF étaient then, trop lents, nous avons ensuite décidé d'utiliser les chasseurs de mines à la place. Point, Alors, que j'ai oublié ce point, point lorsque j'ai été interrogé à cette époque. Um, but when you say we, Question, quand vous dites um, nous, vous ne dites pas votre unité est-ce que itself, vous, ne correct, pas, mean, vous ne vous référez pas à votre uh, unité C'est Vous uh, vous référez à la division uh, dont vous êtes parti Est-ce que je comprends bien lorsque vous dites « nous » Ça correct? ne veut pas dire « votre unité » en particulier, c'est bien cela Réponse. I cannot get what you said, uh, non, je n'ai pas bien compris ce que vous avez dit, maître. Est-ce que vous pouvez no problem. Sometimes, um, maybe that is a language Alors, peut-être qu'il y a un problème uh, linguistique, I'm not, I'm not sure. je ne suis pas sûr. You speak about we. Mais vous avez à plusieurs uh, reprises we captured dit the Maya Quez, nous, nous avons uh, capturé ship. le Mayaguez. Mais lorsque vous dites nous, it doesn't mean cela that your ne veut pas dire que. Uh, il s'agissait de votre unité d'artillerie, mais plutôt les autres membres des forces révolutionnaires. Est-ce que c'est bien cela Est-ce que je comprends bien Réponse. Answer. I... I'm not quite sure what you Alors, said. je ne suis pas bien sûr d'avoir compris ce que vous avez dit. So I am a bit confused uh, with je what you said. Je ne comprends pas bien okay, ce que vous dire. President, you have the floor now, Judge President, vous avez Let's try le... our luck with an open question. Alors, If you say we, si who do you mean? Nous, euh, à qui vous vous référez exactement Answer. Réponse. The word we Le mot nous is meant is not meant to refer to any specific ne, individual uh, or que nous, specific que unit or division. We refer to des personnes we, particulières. I, I mean to the general meaning of uh, we. C'est le sens général de nous que j'utilise ici. Means that, uh, Cela veut dire unless we receive an order, que nous ayons reçu un ordre, nous pouvions accomplir la tâche. Otherwise, nous we were not allowed to nous n'étions pas autorisés à I had a general, notre fonction. You know, meaning when I use the word Lorsque we. j'utilise ce terme « nous », c'est dans le sens général. I still don't understand who we Je is. ne comprends Sorry, toujours I'm pas to ce que veut point. dire ce « nous ». Si vous dites « nous », nous avons reçu mean? des ordres. À qui vous vous référez exactement Bad. Réponse. Answer. We, who Nous, were the subordinates, il s'agissait des subalternes, were under the leadership of the front of the Democratic Cambodia, said le, the witness. Commandement des supérieurs. I did not have the intention to refer to any specific individual des personnes particulières unless there was an order mais un the task a été could be performed donné. and usually the order uh, came to specific uh, individual or persons de personnes spécifiques the tasks uh, were not able to perform Unless there were orders. Nous ne pouvions pas Refer to specific accomplir notre tâche, nous ne recevions pas d'ordre. 
Let me read to you Question. a little excerpt, a small excerpt, Mr. Witness, un, from un extra, um, um, your statement, which was, the, uh, by the way, not to the uh, investigators of the OCIJ, but rather to uh, DC Chem. That's Donc again uh, E3 slash 9092. Again, the same era ends. Um, I will read the whole excerpt. Were you in the training when they, Khmer Rouge, captured the Maya Quest ship? You answered, it happened before I studied technical skills. After the fall of Phnom Penh, I was sent to join the Navy forces, and one week later, they captured the Maya Quest. Question. Question. Why did they capture Pourquoi the Mayaquez? Pourquoi ont-ils capturé le Mayaquez? And then you answer, I did répondu, not know. Je ne savais pas. But we were like Mais the wild bandits because we captured it illegally. Nous avons arrêté ce bateau illégalement. Question. Question. Literally, were we did it illegally? Votre action était illégale. Answer, we réponse. captured it illegally. Cet arraisonnement était illégal. That ship illégal. was traveling in the international water about 10 kilometers of the coast of Kopolo White Island. L'île de Kopolo. Question. Question. Which group went to capture the Maya Quest? And then you answer. Vous avez répondu. The PCF. Squadron group did it. At the time, they did not use the small vessels to capture it because the navy did not yet have the small ships. Question: Did you join them to capture it? No, I did not. I was on Koh Tang Island. What happened after that? And then you answer: After they had captured it, they assigned my group to board the ship to guard it. Not long after that, there were aircraft aircraft coming to bomb us. So I left the ship and went back to the island. End of, end of quote. Now, Mr. Witness, you referred to different groups. Sometimes you refer to your own unit, and sometimes you refer to other units. Um, is what I read to you something that you said to DC Chem? Do you remember saying this? Je viens de lire. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez de l'avoir dit à DC Chem? Back, but but God, na. Answer: Yes, that is true. Oui, c'est vrai. The statements I made to DC Chem. It was my true statements to DC Chem. Exactement, ma déclaration faite au CDK. So it was your unit donc, that was tasked question, with donc guarding the ship on the Island. Is that correct? Votre unité qui était chargée d'assurer la sécurité du bateau sur l'île de Kotang. Est-ce que c'est bien cela? But, but answer. Réponse. Yes, that is true. Oui, c'est vrai. My unit Mon was unité tasked with a eu pour charge guarding the ship. D'assurer la sécurité, de garder ce navire. Et mon unité a reçu l'ordre d'arrêter les personnes qui étaient à bord du navire pour les envoyer à Compensam. Là que j'ai oublié certains points, not have been details on some points I made. So the crew of the Maya Quest was captured by the Maya Quest was sent to Compensam. Your unit was tasked with guarding the ship. Then you explain to us what happened next. Can you tell us what happened next? 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 Réponse. At that time, crew members on the Mayagay were arrested and sent to Kampong Sam in the dark. And at about 10 p.m., we were told to leave the Mayagay to our location since uh, we were told that the situation was intensive 
and the American troops, particularly uh, the fighting airplanes uh, were coming les to de attack combat, us. Uh, arrivaient pour nous mener combat. And as I said, uh, the American crew members had been arrested and sent uh, on land, and we were told at 10 p.m. to come back to our island. Revenir sur l'île. So you were Question. on Kotan Island Donc vous étiez sur um, de Kotan when American aircrafts or helicopters came. Is that correct? The American avions and helicopters came. Is that correct? Réponse. Answer, yes, that is oui, correct. C'est bien cela. And do you remember what Question. happened when those uh, American vous vous helicopters ce qui um, passé approached Kotong Island? Les, euh, ou du moment auquel les hélicoptères américains sont euh, arrivés euh, proche, près de euh, l'île de Kotan? Answer. Réponse. The next morning, le matin suivant, the aircraft or helicopters uh, landed, and there was fighting. Atterri et c'est là que les combats At that time, ont commencé. Uh, à cette fires époque, was uh, shot at each other. There were only dans les deux directions, aircrafts or helicopters are landing at that time, and that two aircrafts or helicopters were about to land, but uh, we fired at those aircrafts and or helicopters. One aircraft or helicopter was a shot. L'un d'entre eux a été touché, and it fell to the ground. Il est tombé and à after terre. that incident, cela, there was an intensive uh, bombing on the des island. Des bombes ont été lancées sur l'île de façon intense. And to counterattack the aerial. Et pour contre-attaquer. And at that time as well, the, the uh, époque, fighting ship uh, were flying. Les, uh, at uh, our island, and there was intensive uh, fighting, as I said, uh, that happened until 7 p.m. And who was it that uh, Question. Uh, shot down Qui one or two of those American helicopters? Who fired on those helicopters? President, uh, please President. hold on, uh, Mr. Winnes. You have the floor moment, now. Monsieur le Président, vous avez euh, la parole maintenant. Let's call here for civil parties. Pour les parties civiles. Wait, oh. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur Thank you. le Président. Good morning, Bonjour Your Honours. Bonjour à uh, tous. Bonjour, parties, honneur, parties, civil parties, parties everyone civiles. in and around Bonjour the courtroom. I observe that uh, Council Cope put many questions relating to questions American ship. I am not sure whether uh, the questions uh, are within the scope of our trial. So, Mr. President, uh, please uh, instruct uh, Council for Mr. Nguyen whether the questions he has put uh, uh, relevant to the facts before us. Um, to respond, Mr. President, uh, réponse, uh, I would like to ask Mr. President, 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 Mr. 
on the one hand, but also to try to establish general, what côté, exactly his position was within the revolutionary forces. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, um, simply uh, see uh, if there is any kind of correlation between the earlier statement that he made and what he said in the earlier statement. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what his role is. I'm trying to figure out exactly what his role is. I'm trying to figure out exactly what his role is. I'm trying to figure out exactly what his role is. I'm trying to figure out exactly what his role is. I'm trying to figure out exactly what his role is. I'm trying to figure out exactly what his role is. I'm trying to figure out exactly what his role is. Lorsqu'il utilise le mot euh, « nous », est-ce qu'il utilise ce so mot de façon générale ou au nom des forces révolutionnaires Donc, uh, at least, um, uh, from a chronology, chronology perspective within the scope of the Je term. pense donc que, d'un point de vue chronologique, ceci est tout à fait pertinent à notre procès. Council, before we make a decision, is testing the credibility your only reason to focus on this incident? Well, then perhaps you want to tell us the real reason. Yes, I believe that the real reason is the real reason. Yes, I believe that the real reason is the real reason. Yes, I believe that the real reason is the real reason. Yes, I believe that the real reason is the real reason. Yes, I believe that the real reason is the real reason. Yes, I believe that the real reason is the real reason. E3 slash 20, um, English EIN 0027902, uh, French 0063863, Khmer 0023262. Um, she describes in her book um, a cable from the United States Embassy in Bangkok. Un message de l'ambassade américaine à Bangkok. Je vous lis l'extrait dans son intégralité. Hopefully, what I'm trying to establish. Pour que vous puissiez voir ce que vous voulez. Donc, elle est là. When the fighting was over, 38 American servicemen lost their lives to save 39 crew members of the Mayaquas. Pour sauver les membres de l'équipage de Mayaquas. And most of them died after the crew members had been released. La libération des membres de l'équipage ont été les dernières pertes américaines dans les guerres qui ont été le Sud. 
Washington ensuite déclaré US embassy in Bangkok, however, donc l'ambassade américaine à Bangkok a, a vu uh, aperçu la crise de façon tout à fait différente. Quote, unquote, Local Cambodian commanders apparently have considerable autonomy and have freely exercised their authority, sometimes to the national embarrassment. The embassy wrote in a classified cable referring in part to the Myagras incident. Um, now, if you put the Myagras incident in a bigger donc, si vous considérez ma demande dans un contexte plus large, tout ce qui a pu se produire dans cette région sur ces îles, ceci s'est fait de façon autonome et j'essaie de voir ce que c'est ce témoin en ce qui concerne la chaîne de commandement des échelons supérieurs et de savoir si ces forces du sud-ouest agissaient de façon indépendante et autonome. Et à cette lumière, nous devons donc voir quels sont les instants qu'il a décrits avec cet instant de Marquez que je peux également me centrer sur la chronologie pour voir un petit peu comment sont déroulées les choses. C'est la raison pour yes. laquelle je souhaite interroger ce témoin sur ces points. Merci. President, uh, Council, you uh, may proceed by using that reference to put questions to this witness. So let me go back to um, my question. Can you tell us exactly what happened when those American helicopters arrived and who it was, which unit it was that shot those uh, helicopters down? et a abattu ses hélicoptères. Thank you, and I'm going to tell you the truth. During the intensive fighting, my uh, unit was on the intensive. island and I refer to my battalion. Je fais référence à mon bataillon. It's a battalion 410, and there were only about 100 of us there on the island. The fighting actually became intensified on the island. There was an engagement uh, by helicopters and by uh, ships. And I myself actually shot down a helicopter. I was severely uh, wounded in the uh, fighting and I myself was with a 12.7 millimeter machine gun and I used that gun to shoot at the helicopter and of course that helicopter was shot down. And you used that 12.7 millimeter gun which we discussed earlier, that machine gun, which was not on a ship, because you said in the beginning that that machine gun was only uh, on ships, installed on ships, but you used it on the island to shoot down those helicopters, correct? Yes, that is correct. 
de construire cette tête. Now I'm trying to to now establish who was it that gave you the orders to shoot back at those helicopters. Who was it? Uh, how did the command, the chain of command go? Who gave you the orders to do what exactly? La chaîne de commandement qui vous a donné l'ordre de faire cela exactement. During the fighting in a battlefield, Sur le champ de the orders les ordres. within the military uh, uh, rank, we focused only on eliminating the enemy Était by that time. Militaire, et nous, nous étions concentrés seulement sur l'élimination de l'ennemi. So, there was no order during the heat of the donc, si battlefield. Voulez, Our focus was to kill the enemy and we were autonomous nous, nous and we had to defeat our opponent. What do you mean when you said we were autonomous? Question, lorsque vous dites que vous étiez autonome, qu'est-ce que vous voulez dire exactement? At that time, the situation was rather tense, and we knew that we were about to be attacked, so we had to prepare ourselves. And of course, during the heat of the battle, we only focused on fighting back. And you uh, had to uh, remember that that was in 1975, that is, the country had just been liberated. And of course, our spirit was to engage in the battlefield and be self-mastery. Of course, bataille. if we were not a self-mastery, then we would be defeated <coughs> by our uh, enemy. And that is the spirit for all the, the soldiers de within de their respective uh, units. I, I can understand that very well, Mr. Witness, but um, surely the capture of the Mayaquest and the guarding of the Mayaquest uh, wasn't done in a immediate war situation. Who ordered the capture of the Maya Quest? Who ordered the guarding of the Maya Quest? Can you tell us how that went? The order for the capture of the magic gas de capture du bateau came from the division, est venu de la division through the regiment, then down through the battalion and through the soldiers on the ground. Bataillon et jusqu'aux soldats sur le terrain. None of the battal uh, battalion or uh, regiment uh, was autonomous. The order had Aucun to come from the upper echelon, that is, from the division for the capture of that ship. And at that time, there was no proper uh, regulations for the soldiers on the ground. And we had to be uh, vigilant at all ships or boats within the territorial waters of Cambodia had to be captured and that was the order from the upper echelon and we at the lower chain of command had to implement those orders and that was our role to capture those ships or boats. And now I have arrived exactly at the point um, where I wanted to arrive, Mr. Witness. You have described the situation as follows. You were a member of an artillery unit on a remote island, um, and other forces captured the Mayaquez. 
How do you know that the order to capture and guard the Mayek was and to arrest the crew members came from the upper echelon? How did you, how did you know? President Jessovain, do you have the floor? Je, je me demande, je me demande si la question que vous avez posée ne peut pas être reformulée. Il me semble uh, entendu dire que ce témoin qu'il avait été détaché d'une unité d'artillerie n'était plus une unité d'artillerie lorsqu'il était sur son île, so dépendant d'une no unité d'artillerie. Depending Sauf on an artillery unit when he was on the island, unless I'm mistaken, so I don't know why you're referring to this artillery unit in particular. I, I presume he was still a member of the artillery unit, having uh, the control of a 12.7 millimeter um, machine gun with which he single handedly. Um, gone down that helicopter, so I presume he was still within the artillery unit. But I will, I will happy, I'm happy to ask. Uh, uh, Council Copé, I believe that the witness was quite clear about this. He explained that the 12.7 millimeter machine guns had been grouped together to be given to the Navy, and he said himself that he was no longer part of the artillery and that he had been detached from his unit to be assigned to that island. Well, to be honest, um, Judge Levain, I don't think there was a Navy yet in May 75. Um, I think uh, Division 164 wasn't formed until the uh, end of 75. Um, I, I, I presume this witness was still a member of um, his artillery unit, um, or at least part of the Southwest Zone Forces. But I'm, again, I'm happy to ask him. I'm happy to ask him. Mr. Witness, were you, when you were stationed at Khon Tang Island, were you a member of the same Southwest Zone Forces, and were you still a member of an artillery unit or of a different unit? membre d'une unité d'artillerie, de la même unité d'artillerie ou d'une autre unité. After I left the Southwest Zone, I was assigned to Kampong Saum. Uh, later on, the Plus Division 164 was formed, and it was part of the uh, West Zone. By that time, I was no longer uh, with the Southwest Zone, but I was with the West Zone, and that's what happened. And by that time, I was no longer involved with the artillery unit. And when the attach uh, was, when the attach occurred, I was part Lorsque of the infantry unit, unit and uh, these machine guns, Et namely 12.7 and 12.8, was not with the artillery uh, unit. Ne se trouvait pas dans l'unité d'artillerie. And. Usually, we had to follow the instructions en from général, Ankar, and if we had to uh, maintain the machine guns that we had earlier, for example, the 12.7, we were to be responsible for the maintenance and for holding of that machine gun. Very well. Um, going back to the 7th of May, you were not anymore a member of the Southwest Zone Forces, but the West Zone Forces. Uh, you were not anymore a member of an artillery unit, but of another unit within the West Zone Forces. Um, now my question is, how did you know that the commander of the Kotan forces belonging to the West Zone had in fact received an order from uh, the upper echelon. How did you know that at the time? But you put a cotton, 
qui est ma chèque. I was certain because I was. Réponse. J'en étais certain. A member and a combatant. Et j'étais combattant. In the respective units, and we knew the cadres within the cadres. area. Either at the battalion or regiment uh, levels, I knew cadres within the battalions or the regiments or even with the uh, division levels. I knew those cadres, I even knew uh, their names and which unit or battalion or regiment they were attached to. For that reason, I knew the orders came from the upper echelon to capture that ship. And the et unit was uh, assigned to capture the ship, and a separate unit would be uh, deployed to hold that ship. As I said, my unit was sent uh, to station in Tang Island. And then we would be Ensuite, responsible for various duties, namely our unit was tasked to guard the Tang Island. Mon unité, en devait la and garde. for that reason, I knew that the orders came through the chain of the military command. A été donné par la chaîne Or you can say... I knew all those from the battalion up to the regimental or to the divisional level. And the uh, division 164 actually had uh, seven regiments, and I also knew cadres within those seven regiments. And And uh, as a rule of thumb, combatants in a unit had to know their cadres or the superiors within the respective unit. And of course, there is usually a communication within the regimental level. For example, we had to know who was the commander for regimental for regiment 61 or regiment 62. For example, uh, Nyan first military commander for Regiment 61, etc. So I knew most of those commanders. And as I said, most of the combatants knew their superiors or cadres. And I thank you for asking this question and allow me to clarify this point. Of course, as a soldier, we need to know our superiors or commanders. And of course, as a subordinate, you had to know your commander because usually the works came from your commander or your superiors. President, thank you. The time is appropriate for a short break. We take a break now and return at 25. Eleven. Court officer, please assist the witness at the vetting room reserved for witnesses and civil parties and invite him as well as his duty counsel back into the courtroom at 25 to 11.